It is our first time riding a train here in the UK. We are taking the high-speed Azuma Rail on the LNER line from London up to Newcastle. We just took the tube from where our hotel was in Covent Garden here to King's Cross. So we're familiar with the, the London Underground. We have been on that uh, on our last trip, but last time we actually took a road trip. This is our first time traveling the country by train. We will be traveling by train for the next couple of weeks, traveling across the UK, but then we do have to come back down to London to catch the Eurostar to go to Paris, which is actually across the street at the St. Pancras station, but we weren't aware until the other day that these were actually two different stations. Our friend Jason kept referring to the, the, the Eurostar train we needed as St. Pancras and the one that we're going to be taking to Kent later, but we actually need King's Cross. As novice train travelers, we just don't really travel by rail that much in the U.S. We weren't really sure about how early we should be, where we should go, uh, but I think we've kind of figured out we need actual King's Cross. They are two separate stations. And, and this is the one we need today for the LNER. It's very weird to be here in person because we have been to the, you know, like the mock version at Universal Studios outside of Diagon Alley. There, uh, I know there's a platform three, nine and three quarters around here somewhere. I, I think there's usually a line for it, but I think maybe we'll try to go see that if, if we can, if we have time. We'll see. It's really exciting, but there is a very long line. I don't think it's for us today. Nope, I don't think that's in our future. I think we're here early, but not that early. Yeah, it's a pretty long line. There is a store, though. It looks like there's an actual first class lounge if we were taking first class. We unfortunately cannot visit there today because we're in coach. We took the cheapest ticket we could find, basically. Our train doesn't have a platform yet, so we have a few minutes to spare. So we popped into Greg's and got some things we haven't tried before. I think these are things that we've been recommended because we have tried Greg's before, but we got told we, we tried some incorrect things. So we got some different things for us to try. I think at least two of them are things people have told us to try before. <laughs> But it's delicious. You, just, you said, mmm, so that's a good first step. It's cheesy, whatever it is. Is it bean in sausage or is it just the cheese and onion? There's cheese and onion and it's wonderful. Okay, good. So we've had the regular sausage roll, but a lot of people actually told us that even if they eat meat, that they like the vegan one better, so. Oh, that one is hot and fresh and delicious, yeah. All right. I think that is better than the regular one. Oh. Sure. This one is sausage, Ooh. bean, and cheese. That's nice. That's much better than the corned beef one I got before. All right, we just found out our train is going to be on platform two, which like 20 minutes to spare. So it's like going to the wire. Let's go. There she is. There's our beauty. Almost there. <laughs> we made it. We made it. <laughs> we are quite literally in the very back of the very end train but hey that's what you get for the cheap ticket it's airline style i'm afraid of the the tables where i have to sit across from strangers <laughs> there's that Fair. looks like you can order food and have it delivered right to your seat that's fancy because of the uh, shortages of staff right now that they don't have at your seat service. We would have to walk six trains to go get something to eat there. Um, which we were like, oh, we'll try to do, but... I don't know, maybe not? <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. It's very far away from where we are right now. Yeah. Pretty close, pretty close to the, as fast as they can go on this train track. Stopped at our 
first stop at Peterborough. did it! We made it to Newcastle! On a high-speed train. High five! Another cool thing checked off the list. That's right. I wanted to walk to our hotel, but I think now that it's raining, maybe we'll do an, an alternative Uber or something, thing. Yeah. yeah. We can see a little bit of the Tyne Bridge, but the lobby can see a lot of it. <laughs> we have made it to what I think we've determined is the nicest room that we've had in the UK. Or maybe tied with the one in Bath. Both Hilton properties. Yes. <laughs> um, we, as, uh, we, we try to frequent like their budget brands in yeah. the US, and because of that, we build up a lot of points with them and then try to redeem them for places that have executive suites. So we'll probably check that out at some point. Gotta get some free drinks and foods. <laughs> I would say that our first experience on a train in the UK, aside from the London Underground, was a really good one. I accidentally booked us facing backwards, didn't realize that at the time of booking it, was a little apprehensive about it, but it worked out fine. I think that was a, a an all in all a good, successful train ride. And we have plenty more coming up and some fun to be had here in Newcastle and the surrounding areas. Thanks to our patrons for always supporting us and coming along on the adventures and thank you for watching. We have so much more to share with you here in the UK, so make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you soon.